Hello and welcome you're watching on Bosco Media Network. This is Monli Sarumbai bringing to you the Salesian news across the globe. The Salesians in Argentina held a press conference on the canonization of Salesian coadjutor brother Artemiri Zati, Argentina's third saint, whose celebration will be presided over by Pope Francis in St. Peter's Square on Sunday, October 9th at 11.15 a.m. In the library of the Salesian House Pius IX in Almagro neighborhood of Buenos Aires, Bishop Esteban Lazagüe SDB, Bishop of Vietnam, Salesian priest Father Carlos Bozio and Father Pedro Narumbuna, and Salesian coadjutor Brother Jos Sebrero Boch spoke to reporters before leaving for Rome to attend the celebration. Father Pedro Narambuena, vice postulator of Zati's cause for canonization, described the canonization right. The central celebration will be in Rome this Sunday, October 9th. It is a Eucharist where, after the Gospel reading, comes the Papal Decree with the nomination of the new saints. In this case, in addition to Brother Zati Giovanni Battista Scabrini, founder of the Scalabrinian Machineries, will also be proclaimed a saint. Then, the relics are presented. From September 29 to October 2nd, delegates for youth from Spain's diocese and youth ministry delegates and coordinators from the congregations present in Spain gathered in Lisbon to discuss various aspects of World Youth Day 2023, which will have the Portuguese capital as its venue. Representing the solutions, the meeting was also attended by Delegate for Youth Ministry of the Spain St. James, the Greater Province, Father Xavier Camino. On the afternoon of Friday, September 30th, Father Camino addressed the assembly, presenting his report entitled European Youth Pilgrimage and World Youth Day, Hopes and Difficulties of the Present Moment. The participants visited the most important places of the great event of Christian youth spirituality scheduled for August 2023. The spaces for the common celebrations, the reception of the Holy Father, the stations of the cross, the vigil and the sending mass. They also met with the local organizing committee in the coordination center where they were briefed on the organization's master plans and were tasks were distributed ahead of the meeting. Don Bosco's job placement network, Ranchi, initiated labor market information among the youth searching for jobs and organized six placement drives with job opportunities for more than 400 youth. Don Bosco Ranchi aims at decent jobs with safer and secure migration. Youth who are skilled, semi-skilled and unskilled will provide job opportunities under various job profiles. Jharkhand and its surrounding area are known for its cheap labour migration, paving the way for modern slavery and labour exploitation. There is no platform for the young job seekers for job market information and they mostly depend on the job formation provided by brokers or so-called agents. Thus. Most of them land up in mismatched jobs under the exploitive situation, said Marcus Minch, placement coordinator, Ranchi. The Salesians of Don Bosco in Kokopo, East New Britain province, organized a meeting for the youth of the Mary Help of Christians Parish of Rapolo on September 23rd to 25th called One Talk Bosco. The event, coordinated by the Salesian Youth Movement of the Vice Province of Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands PGS, was attended by 306 youths from eight mission stations, as well as the Don Bosco School and the Catholic Institute St. Peter Chanel. All Wantok Bosco activities were centered on a theme, All Through Love, inspired by the Rector Major Strenner 2022. On September 19th, a group of past pupils of Don Bosco met at the Salesian School in Brasilia with the aim of refounding the past pupils movement in the capital of Brazil. The meeting was convened by past pupils Eduardo Pesosa Cavalcante, Vice President of the World Confederation of Past Pupils of Don Bosco, with the support of the Salesian Delegate for the Past Pupils of the Belo Horizonte Province, BBH, and National Delegate Father Ivan Arthur Lima de Feria, SDB. Also present were several past pupils from Brasilia and Manuas from various Salesian schools, universities and parishes. At the opening, Caval Cante gave a presentation on the identity, mission and levels of membership of Don Bosco's past pupils. Father Ivan Arta Lima de Fiera then, then delved into some aspects of the preventive system in relation to the past pupils and presented the Salesian presence in Brasilia 
offering a broad view on possible fields of pastoral action for the past pupils. After the invitation to revitalize the movement of the past pupils of Brasilia in communion with the Salesian family, all present accepted the challenge, deciding on some first concrete steps, implementing monthly meetings for formation purposes, inviting and motivating other past pupils for future meetings. At the end of the meeting, Caval Cante thanked everyone for their presence and emphasized that this is the beginning of a journey to be traveled together in a spirit of synodality and gratitude for the education received. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Until we meet again, thank you for watching.